Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to put zippers on the garment in Clo 3D. I will also demonstrate the way to make a covered placket zipper. Let's get it started. Here is a basic woven fabric skirt block I got. If you would like to get this block, just simply take a screenshot of this skirt pattern. Use the way I have shown in my previous video to import the pictures as texture. Trace them, and clone as pattern in Clo 3D. For this skirt, I am going to place a zipper on the center back. First thing to do is to add a point on the center back seam to determine the length of your zipper. Go to 2D window toolbar and select add point or shortcut X. Move the cursor to center back seam and right click. Enter the length of your zipper in the corresponded color line. In my case is the yellow line, and a point will be added to your center back seam. Repeat the same to add a point on the other side of your center back seam. If your patterns are generated symmetrically, then it will automatically add a point to the mirrored pattern. Hold shift and select the pattern pieces that you want to add the zipper. Right click and choose strengthen. Strengthen is the function that will stiffen your garment in 3D window. This is good to use when you are adding zipper, buttons, or if you are having problem during simulation. It can prevent the garment get twisted and pulled during simulation. Make sure to right click and unstrengthen your garment before you run the final simulation. To add the zipper, go to 3D window toolbar, choose zipper. Click on left side of the center back seam, move your mouse along the lines and double click at the end point to finish selecting one side of the zipper. A dark gray line will appear on your pattern. You can see I started the line from top edge of the center back waistband to the stop point on the skirt bodice. Zipper tool allows you to select multiple segments as long as you move the mouse on the same side of the lines. Also, the first click will determine the opening direction for your zipper. I started from the waistband and go down to the skirt bodice, so the zipper will open from the top. Let's do the same on the other side of the center back seam, and move the cursor to the matching end point. Clo will show a blue point to indicate the length that matches your first line. Since I already created a stop point, the blue dot should be at the same spot as the point. Double click on the blue dot. You will see the zipper will be placed on your garment. Click simulate and. There. That's how you will add a zipper to your garment. You can actually apply zipper to garment in both 3D and 2D window. My preference is to do it in 2D window, because sometimes it's hard to see where the zipper end on the avatar. In 2D, I can see the exact length that I need to add zipper. Once the zipper is on the garment, you can click on the zipper, and go to Property Editor. There are a few settings you can choose for your zipper. Such as you can choose metal, plastic, or nylon zipper. The size of the teeth. And you can also change the width of your zipper. Scroll down in Property Editor. Under Material, you can click on either zipper teeth or zipper tape and change color to match your design. If you click the zipper puller or slider, in property editor, you have more options for slider and puller. Also, in stopper, you can choose the zipper is open end or close end. For this skirt, I will change to close end. You can also change top and bottom stopper, and the color. By the way, if you don't like the zipper end stopper to show on your garment, you can right click on the stop and choose hide stop in from the pop-up window. Since I can hardly see the stop on the skirt, I don't need to hide it. So, this is how you can easily apply a zipper in Clo 3D. However, not every design you want the zipper to show. Here is how you can create a covered zipper fly. This is what you will use on skirt or jeans with a front zipper fly opening. First, you need to create a facing piece. 
Before doing that, remember to create the zipper stop points on the center front seams. Then, use internal polygon tool to draw the shape of the facing inside the left front skirt pattern. You can either do a rectangle or curve the corner. I prefer to have round shape facing. Once you are done, select Trace Tool function from the 2D window toolbar. Hold Shift and click on all the segment lines of the facing piece. When you see all the selected lines are highlighted as yellow. Right click on any of the yellow line. And choose Trace as pattern in the pop-up window. The facing piece will be created in both 2D and 3D window. Use Transform tool right click on the facing piece and select Flip and Horizontal. Your facing will be turned to the correct side. Select all the front skirt pieces and right click to strengthen them. Next step, you need to create an internal line on the facing. This will become the sewing line for your zipper. Use Edit Pattern tool to right click the edge of the facing, this line should be the same length as your zipper. Choose Offset as Internal Line, and enter one offset line and the distance is the width of the zipper. Usually I will enter 0.5 inches or a little less. Click OK and now we can start sewing. Use Free Sewing Tool, one click to start one click to end to connect your facing to the skirt bodice. After selecting the sewing lines, go to Property Editor under Sewing Line Type, choose Turned. This way, all the seams will be turned to one side, and you will get a smoother flat surface. If you don't know which one to choose, you can wait until after simulation to check and see if any line is pulling, colliding with each other, or moving a lot. Use Edit Sewing tool to select that sewing line and change the line type in Property Editor to see if that will get rid of the issue. Before simulate the pattern, we need to place the facing piece under the skirt pattern in the 3D window. To do this, just right-click on the facing in 3D window, and select Superimpose Under. The piece will automatically be placed under the skirt pattern. Use Free Sewing to connect the rest of the facing pattern lines to the skirt internal lines. This way can seal the facing properly, and it won't interfere with other pieces during simulation. Now we can apply the zipper. Use the same way we talked about earlier, one click to start and move down along the line and double click on the finish point. Do the same to select the internal line on the facing piece. Click simulate and check if there's any issue. One more thing I like to mention. You can see the zipper puller is showing through the skirt a little bit in the 3D window after simulation. To avoid this issue, when you place zipper, don't put it all the way up. Create start points that are a little bit lower, and it will help to prevent this problem. If everything looks good, use the sewing tool to connect the center front seams together. And the covered zipper fly front is done. When you place zipper on your design in Clo 3D, the preset is separate zipper. Here is a puffer jacket, let me place the zipper on it. For this jacket, I am going to place zipper in the 3D window. In this case, I already attached collar to the body, and the center front seams are open all the way. It's actually easier to apply zipper in the 3D window. Clo 3D give you the option to unzip. Just click on the zipper puller or slider and drag down following the zipper teeth. If you see a gray silhouette appear, that means the function is activated. And you can just drag it down to the position you want and release. Hit simulate and it will be unzipped. The last demonstration, I will create a covered zipper placket on a men's jacket. First thing to do is to make a placket. Use edit pattern tool and right click on the center front seam. Select offset pattern outline. In direction, choose extend. I am making a 1.5 inches placket, so I will enter half of amount which will be 0.75 in distance. And click OK, 
both front bodice patterns will extend out 0.75 inches. Select left front bodice piece and right click to remove linked editing. Because left front placket is different than the right front and I don't want to create a mirrored pattern. Use edit pattern tool to select the new line I just created, right click and choose offset internal line. Enter 1 offsets, and 1.5 inches for the distance. And the placket will be created in the left front pattern. Use trace tool, hold shift and click on all the segment lines from the placket. Right click on the yellow lines and select trace as pattern. The facing pattern will be generated. Flip horizontally to the correct face. Right click on the inner line of the facing pattern. Choose offset internal line. This line is going to be part of the zipper sewing line. Use half of the placket width subtract zipper width. That's the amount you will enter for the offset distance. And now we can start sewing them. Use sewing tool to connect facing with left center front first. Then right click the facing in 3D window and use superimpose under to place it under the front bodice. Click simulate. If there's no collision, use free sewing tool to connect the rest of the facing to the front bodice. Remember to change the sewing line type in property window to turned. Use zipper from 3D toolbar, click to start, move along the line and double click to end to select the zipper sewing line. Repeat the same to select the internal line on facing pattern. Double click on the blue dot. Once you see the zipper has been placed in the 3D window. Click simulate and adjust the garment. And the covered zipper placket is done. If you feel like the placket is stick up a little too much after simulation. To make it look nicer. Find the tack tool from 3D window toolbar. There are two tack tools, one it tack on avatar, and the other is just tack. I want to tack down the placket to the jacket, so it's garment to garment. I will select tack. Click first point on the placket. Then the second click point is where you want the placket to tack down to. Try to make these two points as close as you can, make it almost next to each other. Then click simulate. You will get a nice and flat placket. Thank you for watching, I hope you find this video helpful. Please leave comments, and don't forget to click like and subscribe.